Allow me to discuss with you what happened with AutoHarp 2, why I suddenly just disappeared with AutoHarp 2, and what the future of AutoHarp 2 is, and why now is there an AutoHarp 3, and what exactly is it? Well, the reason for why AutoHarp 2 came and went has a lot to do with a few lifestyle changes with me, but also with a rather frustrating update process. AutoHarp 2 was written in XW widgets with C -sharp, or C++ and code blocks. Dialog Blocks was used as my integrated development environment, and it was necessary to keep it updated. This was an issue because sometimes an update would in fact make AutoHarp 2 not work. It would corrupt, corrupt certain libraries, and therefore it wasn't a very stable environment. I was spending more time trying to stabilize the environment over trying to get a bug fixed. Also, it was very time-consuming to test for all of the environments. I had to make sure that each environment was up-to-date, then compile for each environment, and then test for that environment. Needless to say, it was daunting and it was frustrating. About two years ago, I came across Rollmaster Era and said, you know, this is a really neat idea. Uh, the idea of making this application like a character designer as a web application. And I have a lot of experience with web applications and felt as if this could be the next evolution of AutoHarp 3. Then, about a year ago, I came across D&D &D Beyond and was now convinced that I could make AutoHarp using ASP.NET. The problem was, okay, again, what environment? Because I don't want to go back to the same problems that I had with XW widgets. And I found this emerging environment called Blazor. That's, that's a lot like Razor, but it uses an ASP.NET 7 library. And it also uses C Sharp as my language and um, primary language. The installation of the environment was actually quite simple, but the next problem emerged of making AutoHarp a desktop application because Blazor is specifically a web application, which means this needs to run on a browser and you need an internet connection. So I brought in Electron.js to use to wrap my Blazor app into a desktop application. The details are kind of complicated, but let's just say that Electron.js, despite the, the reputation that it has of being bloated, which it is very much bloated, it does allow um, AutoHarp to be used without an internet connection and it is presents AutoHarp 3 as a desktop application. There is um, hope that in time I could migrate to MAUI. MAUI is not going to, um, or MAUI is allowing me to run AutoHarp possibly not just as a de desktop application, but on a device as well, such as a phone or a tablet. With all that said, AutoHarp 3 is a complete rewrite. It is still a desktop application, but it now has the appearance of a web application. The user interface is going to be very different, and Bootstrap is going to be a very large component of the UI presented. Because this is a complete rewrite, I had to take a step back. Currently, as of this video, I only have Harp Fantasy with Martial Law and College of Magics completed. I do not have Harp Sci-Fi completed yet. I really haven't even started it yet. But Harp Sci-Fi and Sci-Fi uh, Sci Extreme, I will start to work on that in August and hope to complete it quickly. It's just a clone of Harp Fantasy with just the major changes to defense and magic. Should be able to complete it faster than the development time for Harp Fantasy. And it should be, and it's going to be a separate application. It's just going to be too complicated to keep all of the Harp Sci-Fi elements inside of Harp Fantasy and keep them straight. Harp Folk uh, Ways and Monsters and Loot will be completed after the Harp Sci-Fi development is completed. And then after that, I hope to have Architect completed as well. Now, Architect's going to be a heavily stripped down version. I'm only going to have like essential parts of the database open for updates. Combat is included this time in Harp Fantasy. It's also heavily integrated into the Auto Harp 3 application. That is, I can go from combat to the character application and back to combat with just a few clicks and really never ever having to open up a new application. So if you're running combat and you want to make a change to a character sheet, you can quickly go over to that character sheet, make the change, and come right back to combat as if you never left. So what does this mean going forward? AutoHarp 3 is going to be the main line for AutoHarp software. Everyone who has AutoHarp 2 will be able to upgrade to AutoHarp 3. The character sheets that are made in AutoHarp 2, though, are going to need to be converted. So there's going to be a built-in conversion program in AutoHarp 3. You open up the character sheet, and it should automatically convert it. The issue is going to be that the character sheets themselves, and making sure that I have the conversion programs for AutoHarp versions 2, 2.1, 2.2, and 2.3, I'm only going to be upgrading from version 2. 
There's going to be a GitHub site available for users who want to write up any bugs or enhancement requests, and I'm going to be on the forum to get requests from there as well. And I'm going to make sure that I change that, my name on the forum so that I can be easily reached and identified. To install AutoHarp 3, you will need to download the application. For the Harp Fantasy line, I will have an installation program called AutoHarp 3 Harp Fantasy. Currently, as you see here, it's just called AutoHarp 3. So when you click on the installation program, you will go through the installation process to install the application. When you get to the part where it asks you where you want to install, you can install anywhere you want, but you are going to have to remember where you installed it so that you can install the expansion packs later. So let's go ahead and run the installation. It shouldn't take too long to install. And done. With the installation process completed, we now have a folder called AutoHarp 3. And opening up this folder, you're going to see quite a few files and folders. All of these files are for Electron.js, which I told you is it's a very bloated piece of software as the application itself is also bloated as a result. The name of the software that you are going to run is called AutoHarp 3-Harp Fantasy EXE. It is found right there in the root folder. This is important because there is another EXE that you are going to find as you go through this um, folder, and the files and the folders that are here, that has a very similar name. That is not the application that you are to run. You run the application from the root folder. Inside of the resources and bin folders, you're going to find a data folder. Inside there is going to be the databases and the Harp Fantasy database and all of the XML files are located in that database um, that's found in the folder for Harp Fantasy. There are two um, Harp Fantasy folders. The very first Harp Fantasy folder is going to be where all the systems are. So that's also going to hold your Harp Sci-Fi when eventually, uh, if you have something for Harp Sci-Fi, it's going to be stored there as well and any other systems that could exist um, for Harp. Getting back into the data, we go into the bin. Um, we go into the RES folder, uh, bin www root RES. This is where all your images are going to be. So you can go ahead and store any images of yours that you want. Do not delete any of the images that you find here. Just add images. In fact, I would add it to a folder that's separate from all of this so that you don't get confused with what you have added and what is already included inside of this RES folder for images that's being used by the program. All of these images that you see that are present here, they are being used by the program uh, under some capacity. Let's go ahead and install Martial Law as an expansion. All we do need to do is just double click on it, just like the original Out of Harp Fantasy that we installed before. Just go through the license agreement. Same thing with the components. As you'll notice, we only have the one component for databases. That's because all we're really installing is the database file. When it comes to any updates that happen with AutoHarp, I'm going to be including them all inside of the Harp Fantasy EXE. Any expansion packs like Martial Law, College of Magics, Folkways, Monsters and Loot, those are going to be database only um, installations. And so everything that comes up with updates for any of those particular um, parts of the application, those are going to all be part of the Harp Fantasy. So not to confuse any of the applications with you know what's being updated, all updates for um, application purposes are all being made to Harp Fantasy. Database purposes, they're all going to go into the expansion packs for Martial Law, for College of Magics, and for um, Folkways, Loot, and Monsters when those come out. So moving on to the next step, we now need to know where we installed AutoHarp 3. We're looking for the root folder, and it's necessary so that we can install these expansion packs into the proper database um, file uh, uh, folder. So remember when I showed you where the database folders are located under Harp Databases, this is where all of these expansion packs are getting installed. So it's important that you select the root folder for where you installed AutoHarp 3 as where you're going to install the uh, expansion packs. You're going to do the same thing with College of Magics. It's the exact same process.